um, we're going to sing the all three verses of victory in Jesus. I heard an old, old story how a savior came from glory, how he gave his life on Calvary to save a wretch like me. I heard about his groaning of his precious blood atoning. Then I repented of my sins and won the victory. Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and he bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me, yeah, I knew him, and all my love is to him. He plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing flood. Let's sing that last verse. I heard about a mansion he has built for me in glory. And I heard about the streets of gold beyond the crystal sea. About the angels singing and the old redemption story. And some sweet day I'll sing up there the song of victory. Oh, victory in Jesus my savior forever he sought me and he bought me with his redeeming blood he loved me and i knew him and all my love is to him he plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing flood. Amen. And I pray that we can all declare on this evening that I have victory, that I'm walking in victory. Amen. Beneath his cleansing blood. And the song that's going to be our last song is the purpose for which we've come. Amen. Revive us again. And we want to continue to hold that song up before the Lord as we move throughout this season of prayer and seeking God as we move into the revival. So revive us again. That's why I decided to sing two of that last verse. We're going to sing three of these verses. Um, we'll sing the first, well, first, second, and last verse of revive us again. Amen. <clears throat> Page 434. We praise thee. Well, y'all, hold on. I know I don't sing quite right. Let me. <laughs> We praise thee, O oh God, for the Son of thy love, for Jesus who died and is now gone above. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us again. We praise thee, O oh God, for thy spirit of light, who has shown us our Savior and scattered our night. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us 
again. Revive us again. Fill each heart with thy love. May each soul be rekindled with fire from above. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us again. Amen. And as we were singing that last ver verse, fill each heart with thy love. May each soul be rekindled with fire from above. Amen. And that's the whole point behind having a revival. It's to refresh and to stir up and to move into something that's already supposed to be there. Amen. And so if we're being revived, I've already got it, but I need to be revived. It means I've been vibed. I've been living. I've been doing but Lord, now I need you to revive me. There's some things that I need to be get in check. There's some places that's in my life that maybe needs to be pulled on. There's some strongholds that perhaps I've got in my life. And so Lord, revive me. Help me to be able to see me the way you see me. And as I'm revived and walking further in you, then we can be a benefit to the body of Christ, the body as a whole, amen? And so we'll be able to get out and go and do, and we'll be able to have that vigor, that newness, that refreshing, amen, that we're looking to God to do. And I believe that he can set us all on fire and we can be revived prior to the revival, amen. And so when we move into the revival, we'll be pushing the preacher to preach to us because we're already where we need to be to be able to receive from him, amen. And so I believe that that's why Pastor Marsha desired to do this and why God dropped it in his spirit so that we can already be ready, amen. Our bowls can be upturned throughout the week, throughout the services that we attend, throughout our Bible studies, throughout our Sunday services, amen, and throughout our evening services, that we can come together and petition the Lord to revive us and set us afire again, amen. I don't know if it was Vanetta or Kavina or both of them, but it seems like back in the day, they used to sing that song, start a fire in my heart, let it burn so brightly so that everyone will see that is you that we need, amen. And so I pray that that is our prayer as we move forward, amen? And so for the initial prayer, just to jump us off and get us going for the evening, I don't wanna go any further without um, prayer here. So how about, um, Sister Natasha, I'm gonna pick on you. I might pick on you again, maybe, but. <laughs> But you got one down tonight already. Amen. So if you can pray for us and just ask the Lord to be with us tonight as we convene. Amen. Uh, let's pray. Thank you, God, for yet another night, God, um, in your presence, Lord God. Right now, God, I ask you that you just look down on each and every one of us, Lord God. All the people who are on the prayer list, Lord God, you know each and every one by name, Lord. Those who are looking to you, um, today, Lord God, to answer prayers, Lord God, all the unspoken requests, God, all the petitions of our hearts, Lord God, you know them all. God, we thank you for everything that you have done so far, God. We thank you for everything that you're going to do, Lord God. I ask you, God, that you just remember all those who are sick, God, who are shut in, God, um, those who are dealing with this virus, Lord God. God, I ask you that you just have your way, God, in each and every one of uh, their hearts, Lord God. You speak to those who are not saved, all of our unsaved loved ones, Lord, you know who they are, Lord God. Speak to their hearts, Lord, that they may understand who you are, God. Show them, God, that you love them, Lord God. Let them feel your love, Lord. God, I ask you, God, that you just uh, remember our pastor, God. Continue to strengthen him, uh, his wife, Lord God. Continue to strengthen her, God, as they are the shepherds of this flock, Lord God. I ask you that you be with them, each and every one here that's on this call, Lord God. I ask you that you bless each and every household that's represented, um, God, and if you do these things, we'll be so careful to give your name to praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You're muted. You're muted. You're muted. We can't. And I'm on fire, though. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And I said, and it is so. He will do those things that have been petitioned before him. Amen. And so we're looking for manifestations. We're looking for those testimonies, amen, of how God has done just what we sit, ask him to do. Okay, I just wanted to share a quick word of exhortation before we jump into our um, prayers on this evening. Um, and I just wanted to remind us, because I believe that as we're saved, we know we're saved. We understand um, 
what it means to be saved. I think most of us on the line, I haven't scrolled back again to see who all was on here, but, but, but we claim to be saved. Those of you who claim that you're still waiting and holding out for the right moment, grab hold, amen? Don't, don't put it off. They said, you just tell us, don't let it be said too late, amen? And so um, choose Jesus, young people, now while he may be found, amen? And so I pray that even as we're preparing for the revival, that something will spark in you and you won't even be able to rest at night because you'll be crying and giving all of your cares and concerns over to the Lord and he'll make a new thing and do a new thing in your lives. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for get those testimonies, amen? Young folks, catch the vision, catch the vision, young people. We are the salt of the earth. That's what I wanna talk about for just a second on tonight. And it won't be long. Um, but in Matthew chapter five, verse 13, um, and many of us know it and can quote it. Y'all, I have a distance seeing issue. So the computer is just far enough away to where I can't see. So I'm having these glasses on and off several times. Um, but Matthew chapter five, verse 13 reads, ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden underfoot of men. And so we hear that scripture often, and I found out some new stuff about salt, and I felt like this would be the perfect time to share it, because as we're beginning to petition the Lord to prepare us for the revival, we need to know who we are. And so the title or the theme of this is, I know who I am and I'm salt, amen? And so if I know I'm salt, then we ought to be able to ask your sister, your name, what's going on? You feeling a little salty today? Yes, I'm feeling really salty in that I know whose I am. I'm feeling really salty because I've had that interaction with the Lord. I've done my devotion for today. I realize the importance of being salt. I realize the importance of the savor that I would have on the earth if I stay in the position that God desires for me to be in. And so we need to identify and know who we are as the salt of the earth. And so what I read, and y'all pray, I just read stuff sometimes and then I'll get an epiphany and then I have to read and research. We know what salt is, right? It's that condiment that we use and people tell you that your blood pressure is too high because you're using too much of it and that white stuff. And now we see the Himalayan salt and it's pink. And we'll see different colors of salt, different variations of salt. But the purpose of it that we know of it is so that it, it seasons the food and it adds the flavor to the food. If you taste the salt and it's salty, it's funny how you can put it in water and then boil pasta and the pasta comes out just right because it's just enough to make the pasta be whatever it needs to be. And if you cook food and it doesn't have any salt in it, you're missing it. It's you, you can tell I'm not a big heavy salt person, but my daddy was. And he could tell because he's marina fixed it. So it's bland. Yeah, I, fi I cook better now. But uh, when I was little and I'd fix something, I didn't know how to salt it without making it too salty. So I just wouldn't. So he would, he could tell when I fixed the food versus when anybody else in the house had fixed the food because I wouldn't put salt in it. And so he could identify that there was something missing. And so if we're the salt of the earth, then if we weren't here, there would be something missing. And so as you're moving and going throughout your life and throughout your days, if you're not being salty, there's something missing that only you can put in the atmosphere of the place where you are. And it, again, I say it's not just about the food because when I was reading and I said, well, what, what, what was the purpose of salt? Have people always needed to put salt in their food back in the day, in olden times? And when I found, when I was reading, the first thing that I saw when I was reading to figure out what is salt and what all it did back in the day, I found it very interesting because the first thing that came up was that it said, during Roman times, salt was worth its weight in gold as soldiers were sometimes paid in salt. They weren't paid gold. They weren't paid whatever the monetary um, equivalent was in those days. It was salt. 
that they were paid with. So there's some value that's associated with the salt that was much more than just whether or not it would season our food. But it was such a commodity until back then they would receive their pay in a handful of salt. And that was the value. I never knew that when they would talk about how somebody was lazy and you know, you'll hear him say, oh, he's not worth his salt. I didn't understand what that meant <laughs> until I researched to figure out what, you know, what is it about the salt? And so then when I read and understand, well, if that was a wage that were being paid to say that someone isn't worth their weight in salt means you a sorry motor scooter. You're not doing anything that would allow you to be valuable to whomever or to whatever. And so you have to understand that salt wasn't just in those days for seasoning per se, but it was also what was used. It was, and I'm reading here now, it was originally a salt mine that provided the area that we now know as the Balkans with the salt for many centuries, starting at 5400 BC. That was a long time ago. Salt was a crucial commodity and trading was vigorous. In ancient Greece, much of this trade involved an exchange of salt for slaves. And so if they were exchanging salt for slaves and you thought you wanted this slave or that slave, the response then would be, oh, he's not worth his salt. You don't wanna pay for this one because they're no good, lazy individual. And so to understand that there's some value, <clears throat> excuse me, to salt and, and value to what salt is. And so we've got to be able to identify who we are in the things of the Lord. And so when he says that we're the salt of the earth, if we being the church don't bring that saltiness, if we don't bring that value, then where does it come from? And so God is sharing with us, and this was Jesus speaking rather, that if we're the salt of the earth, don't forget who you are. Now understand different salt tastes different in different regions. I understand there's black salt, there's pink salt, there's gray salt, there's salt I never heard of. And so in certain regions, you'd be able to use different salts. And of course, now they sell different things here, but you can use those things and they all taste differently. So my flavor of saltiness is not gonna be the same as Sister Tayo's flavor of saltiness per se. Sister Tayo is ministering to a whole different group of people than I'm ministering to and interacting. And God is charging me to work with. Brother Michael has a different group of people that he's challenged or he's assigned to by the Lord. So his salt may be gray. My salt may be white, but we all work together harmoniously in the end to bring forth edification to the body of Christ as a whole, amen? And so we have to understand and know whose we are. If we're the light of the world, a city that sits on a hill that cannot be hid. And so that means that they ought to be able to see that there's some saltiness in Verena and they ought to be able to see that there's some saltiness in Brother Duff and Brother Michael. And although you can see all these different flavors of salt, in the end, your salt may be that you can pray eloquently. My salt may be that I can stay on key, amen? And so if I can sing on key and you can pray, and Brother Michael can preach and Pastor Marshall can preach and exhort. Now together we work fitly together, amen? And so our salt is valuable. And so we have to understand that even as God is moving in us and he's, he's I don't wanna be long any longer than this, but just understand that if God is, since God is allowing us to move into revival, that we wanna petition and ask God to help me to not, not lose my savor. If the salt loses its savor, it's then good for what? Nothing. And so I don't want to walk and live and breathe and be considered good for nothing because my value is zero in the eyes of God as it relates to my relationship with him. So my prayer tonight is that the Lord will revive us, that he will send revival, help us to be salty, help us to identify what his challenges are and what his assignments are for each of us, because we all have one. And it's not just to lay low and be a pew member and say, amen. There's something that he has assigned for each and every one of us, the young people. God has assignments for you. Surrender your life to him so that you can walk upright before him so that he can be pleased. Don't go to hell by way of church. We say that often. 
let's not be in church. Those of us who are slacking and we feel like we can identify situations in our lives that's inconsistent with God's will, the challenge to us is the same. Man, how sad would it be to come to church and then miss heaven because we're slacking and we have lost the importance of our saltiness. Amen. So that's all I wanted to say on salt. Um, it's a lot more. I got a whole lot of notes here, but, but that's what I want to share with us for now, just to encourage us to not, to not forget who we are in him. And so today we're a lot of things in him. Amen. We are the righteousness of God. Amen. So we're a whole lot of stuff, but today we're just sharing being salty and we want to make sure that, that, that we are not considered good for nothing in the end. Amen. And so as we move into prayer, um, we want to, of course, pray for our leaders of the church. We want to pray for the churches at large. This is the first prayer, and we're going to do two, three, maybe three prayers. But we want to pray for the churches and the leaders. Churches, when I say churches, of course, we want to pray for our apostolic faith church governing body and all of those leaders that are there, Brother Daryl Lee, um, Sister Josephine McElvin, Pastor Marshall, all of our, our churches as a whole. So we want to pray and ask God to bless our churches, our church leaders, and those who know to name the name of Christ. I say our church, but then I was looking at the Church of God in Christ, and they um, just had a big election, and they've got new leadership. Let's pray for those who name the name of Christ, those who declare that they're saved and striving to live in accordance to God's will. Um, amen? And so for our churches and our leaders, um, Sister Tayo is on. I think we're going to ask Sister Tayo if she will unmute and um, if she will offer a prayer request, a prayer specifically for our churches and our leaders um, on tonight. Um, and then we'll move forward from there. Sister Tayo, are you available? Yes, ma'am. Uh, um, so if we, amen. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you, we bless you, we glorify you. We thank you, Lord, for yet another opportunity in your presence tonight. We thank you, Lord, because you said your children who are called by your name, if they will humble themselves and pray, you will hear from heaven and heal our land. Father, we have come before your throne of mercy to lift up our church, all our churches all over the world and all churches where they know you as their personal Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. We lift them all before your throne of mercy, Lord. We say, Lord, once again, you send revival into, the, into our midst, O oh Lord. Father, Lord, look down upon us, O oh Lord. Revive your church again, O oh Lord. So that when you come back again, you will meet faith in all the churches. Yes, we want to be ready. We, want, we don't want to be like uh, the foolish virgins. We want to be like the wise virgin, Lord, that is expecting your, your second coming. Father, Lord, you are the only one that can help us. Look down upon the church, oh Lord. The church is dwindling, oh Lord. The, the, the church is going worldly. The world is already coming to the church. And the church is already going to the world. But God, we want you to send revival again, oh Lord. Like the one that happened in the Azusa Strait. Father, you can do it again. You have done it before. You have the power to do it again because you are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Father, Lord God of heaven, and I will commit our church leaders into your hands. The Bible instructed us to pray for our leaders. Because they are the leaders that you have chosen for us to lead us aright. Father, Lord God, we commit them, we leave them before your throne of mercy. Reverend Darely, we lift him before your throne of mercy and all the, the, the people that are working with him, all his ministers, we leave them before your throne of mercy. Sister Josephine McCalvin, we lift her before your throne of mercy and all the people that are working with her, our pastor, Pastor Marshall and Sister Joyce, we lift them before your throne of yes. mercy. Father, yes. Lord, like you did unto Solomon. Father, Lord, you asked Solomon what he wanted, Lord, and he asked for wisdom. He asked for understanding. Father, Lord God, I pray this day that you endow upon our leaders the, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of understanding from your throne of mercy so that they can steer the ship 
of your church in this world, oh Lord. Father, Lord, you said like uh, as we were with the, the apostles, you will also be with us, oh Lord. Yes, Father, indeed. be with our leaders, oh Lord. Hold, yes, uphold yes. our leaders, oh Lord. Father, you said, I will uphold you by the right hand of my righteousness. Yes, Father, yes. Lord, I pray this day, oh Lord, that you uphold our pastors, you uphold our leaders, all our pastors yes. uh, in all our churches all yes. over the world. Father, yes. I say, Lord, you will uphold them with your right hand of righteousness, O oh Lord. The wisdom to steer the ship of the church. Father, you will grant it unto them, O oh Lord. Father, Amen. Lord, all the plans of the devil concerning the church. Yes. Father, Lord God, I say, Lord, you will thwart those plans in the mighty name yes. of Jesus. Father, Lord God of heaven and earth, you said the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violence take it by force. Father, Lord God of heaven, we don't want to be complacent. We don't yes. want to take it back. We don't want to be in our comfort zone. But Lord God of heaven, and I, we want to leave our comfort zone. We want to take the kingdom of heaven by violence. Father, Lord, give us the strength. Lord, give us the power. Yes. It is good to have good leaders, but it is also good to have good followers. Father, yes. Lord, come and help us to be yes, good God. followers, oh Lord. Yes, we Lord. don't want to give our leaders problems. We don't want to yes. give our pastors problems. We don't yes, want to Lord. sit in our corner and, and complain. We don't want to sit in our corner and grumble. Father, Lord, God, this was, it was the problem of the Israelites. Oh, they grumbled and grumbled and grumbled. Yes. That song, that yes. song said they grumbled on Monday. They grumble on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, grumble on Thursday too, grumble on Saturday, Sunday, grumble all week through. So we don't want to grumble. We don't Definitely. want to be like the children of Israel. Father, we want to work with our pastors. Yes, we want Lord. to work with our leaders. Lord, the spirit to be good followers. Lord, give unto us, oh Lord. God help. Whatever they ask us to do, Father Lord, give us the spirit to be obedient to your yes. word. Because you place the leaders. The leader did not place themselves. Father, Lord, as we work with them, oh Lord, to yes. be good leaders to us. Father, help us. Yeah, so yeah. be good followers to them, oh Lord. You are the only one that can do it. Touch our heart, oh Lord. Touch the heart of the leaders, oh Lord. Yeah, Touch yeah. the heart of the followers, oh Lord. Father, Lord, prepare us, oh Lord. All of us, just like we have heard, there could be different sorts. When you go to the store, you see green, pink salt, Himalayan salt, different salt. Well, they are all working towards the same goal. Father, yeah. Lord God of heaven and earth, we as church members, working hand in hand with our pastors, working hand in hand with all our leaders, we want to achieve the same goal. Father, yeah. Lord, come and help us, oh Lord. Give us the power. Give us the enabling. Strengthen us, oh Lord. Strengthen us, oh Lord. Uphold us with your right hand of righteousness, oh Lord, yeah. so that at the end, when you come, Lord, we will be worthy of you. Even in this world, as we shall be worthy of you in heaven. Father, Lord, come and help us, oh Lord. Okay. Help it and every one of us, oh Lord. Strengthen us, oh Lord. Be with us, oh Lord. Guide us, oh Lord. Because you are the strength of Israel, Lord. From your throne of mercy, strengthen and every one of us, oh Lord, so yeah, that yeah. everything that we shall do shall be to the glory of your name. Thank you, everlasting Father, because you have heard and answered our prayers in yeah, Jesus' you, name. We pray, Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 So, Amen. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Thank you, Sister Tyel. Jesus, Amen. Thank you. Amen. Lord. And the Bible talks in James, and I don't have the exact scripture pulled up, but if anybody is afflicted, let them call for the elders of the church. And so we're going to move to those who are sick. Sister Natasha had the prayer request list up earlier, and my know brother Duff had her to pull it up last week. Um, and I can't think of the names on it. I know Pastor Ron Gaddis is still having challenges in his body. Um, here we go. Um, if you'll continue, please continue to pray for my brother Michael. Sister Evelyn Mears, thanks Tasha, um, Antonia Flores, um, India Acosta, I'm assuming these are some who are sick. Um, and so at this point in time, I don't know if we know those who are listed on the list who are sick. Um, thank you for adding Pastor Gaddis um, to the list. Um, Sister Garcia's parents, brother and sister Garcia, Sister Eunice Clark Hill, um, Larvell's daughter Armani, Alicia, Alicia Williams, Shantri Scales, um, let's play, pray for those who are sick, who are among us, um, are those who we know of, who are affiliated. We know that coronavirus has not gone away, amen, even though they have a, um, a vaccine. Um, so let's pray for those who are still in the hospital, who are still having challenges. I understand that they told us with Michael being sick that one of the, um, one of the offsets or the 
with, I can't think of the word I'm looking for, the residuals, um, is that you can have strokes. Um, and so we want to pray for that. My mom was reading, you got to stay off internet, amen, but different things that there are side effects to a lot of this stuff. And so we want to pray for the sick and those who are struggling in their bodies physically. Um, and so we want to always lift Pastor Marshall up um, and keep his name up before the Lord as the Lord continues to strengthen his body. Um, um, Sister Joyce would continue to hold her up. You know, she'll talk about that hand and she'll sometimes um, forget. I think Tasha said, mama, forget she's holding something in her hand. But, but those effects that um, she has even now, even though it's been a while ago, she'll, Sister Joyce will still claim healing. Amen. And so let's continue to believe God because one day she's going to walk in that church and say, I got it all back and I'm good. Amen. And so let's continue to hold those people up before the Lord. And so at this time, we're going to pray for the sick. Um, Brother Samuel, are you on the line? Brother Alua Sun, is he on the line today? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay, if you can just go before the Lord for just a few moments, please, for those who are standing in need of prayer and looking to God and looking for the church, amen, to pray. We want to be able to say that we've prayed, amen, just because they've had those petitions before the Lord. So if you can pray um, for the sick, please. Our Father and our God, we praise and thank you for everything about our life. We said in everything we should praise. Thank you for this day. Thank, Thank you, you for Lord. this hour. Thank you, Father Lord, for thou our Father was in heaven. We come before you to the throne of grace. Because the Bible made us to understand that at the evening time, they brought all sorts of sicknesses unto you. And they all go back home rejoicing. Father, Lord God, all on the prayer list of the church, we bring them before you, Lord God, for the mercy of for the mercy seat. Father, Lord God, send your word unto them Amen. and heal them wherever they are. Amen. Father, Lord God, touch their body, Amen. touch their spirit, Amen. wherever the sicknesses or wherever the ailment is in their body, Lord, go and touch them mm -hmm. and give them a perfect healing. Amen. We desire in our heart like those three friends that let down their friend from the from the upper from the upper roof of the house in order to reach you. Father Lord God, where we are through Zoom, oh Lord God, we are letting down all these people on the prayer list of the church before you, oh Lord God. Father Lord God, send Elion to them. Amen. Lord God Almighty, you know them by name, you know them as an individual. We pray that you are going to visit them, oh Lord. We Amen. pray that the efficacy of the blood, because the Bible made us know that through the, we describe we are healed. Father Lord, God, go and heal them, O oh Lord. Amen. Lord God Almighty, go and heal them, O oh Lord. Amen. Give them a perfect healing that all the all the thanksgiving and all the praise shall be unto your holy name. Amen. We thank you because that you promise us that we are two or three are gathered together in your name, where we are in the midst of them. Father Lord, we are more than two, we are more than three here, O oh Lord God. Bring your point unto your name, O oh Lord God. Father, Lord God, send that healing, O Lord. Amen. Send that perfection, O Lord God. Father, Lord God, we, remember, we pray for our pastor that in everything, O Lord God, you continue to give him a perfect earth in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. And we pray also for his wife, O Lord God, yes. that you are going to give to the choice a perfect healing in every part of, of the body in Jesus' name. Yes. O Lord God, and for, for brother, for brother, um, the sisters, brother, brother, oh Lord God, I pray, oh Lord God, that you are going to send your word unto him. Yes, God, Lord God his name. Because you are you have promised that whatsoever we bring before you, oh Lord God, if he ask in faith, you are going to do it. Father Lord, we join our faith together to ask for his perfect healing as what you have done. Oh Lord God, come and perfect it in Jesus' name. In the name of Lord Jesus. God Almighty, come and perfect it in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord God Almighty. We are all before you, O oh Lord, this night. O oh Lord God, even as a country, as the, as the gospel, every every every, every aspect of the whole place is uh, of place is sick. Father Lord God, we need your healing power. Father Amen. Lord, send down your healing power in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord God Almighty, send down your healing power in Jesus' name. 
the coronavirus is still raging and people are taking shots, oh Lord God, but you are the perfect shot that can be taken. Father, Lord God, send your healing power to everybody in Jesus' name. As you have been preventing us from any, any viruses, any diseases, oh Lord God, we pray that you continue to cover us with your blood in Jesus' name. Lord God Almighty, we pray that you continue to guide us. You continue yes, to guide the church. Oh Lord yes. God, we are looking forward to you, oh Lord God, that we are going to send revival as we sent it in the, in the time of the of the, the day of Pentecost, that when souls were, were got together, when they hear your word, oh Lord, more than, more than thousands of thousands of people give their life to you. Father, Lord God, we are looking unto you. As our pastor has said, that by your grace, oh Lord God, we want to have the service in the church on the, on, for the Easter Sunday. And we are praying that we won't make it possible for us to do it outside the, outside the church, Tabernacle, so that many people will see it, many people will hear it, and they will come and we are going to send down healing to them in Jesus' name. Both spiritual Amen. healing, both physical healing, both mental healing. Oh Lord God, most sinful, most sinful healing, oh Lord God, that as many sinners that are going to hear the, about the service of that day, and they will come, oh Lord God, as they are marching the ground of that of, of, of that fourth world church, oh Lord God, you are going to say healing to their lives in Jesus' name. And as many as have turned back, oh Lord, for one reason or the other, Father Lord, we pray that you are going to seek them out and you are going to bring them back to the gospel in Jesus' name. Not even the gospel is a sickness, oh Lord God, and you are the only one that can heal them. Just like you did to the political son, oh Lord God, go and do to them in Jesus' name. We are looking unto you for each and every one of us, oh Lord God, come and heal us in Jesus' name. And oh Lord God, I commit a little courage here also into your hand. For little leg that they have put POP, oh Lord God, that you come and give me a perfect healing to in Jesus' name. Mm-hmm. And wherever amen is seen in each and every one of us, body, oh Lord, you are praying that you are going to you are going to visit us, you are going to touch us, you are going to speak your word. Because the Bible says that He speaks your word and the word heals them. But I go speak your word, oh Lord God, to each and every one of us in Jesus' name. Let us receive a perfect healing and perfect health in Jesus' name. All glory and honor shall be unto your name. We will continue to praise you. We will continue to mm-hmm. honor you because that you said we should allow our thanksgiving to be more than our request. Father, Lord God, we are thanking you because you have answered our prayer. We are thanking Thank you because Lord. you are going to do it. We are thanking you because you have already done it, O Lord. We are thanking you because you are the God of perfection. Father, Lord God, you are the God of our sufficiency. Father, Lord God, come and do it for us in Jesus' name. Thank Everything Jesus. that we are looking unto you concerning our body, concerning our life, O Lord God, we place them before you, Lord God. Come and perfect them in Jesus' name. All yes. glory shall be unto your name. O Lord yes, God, Lord. we pray, O Lord God, that... When you spark all revival in apostolic faith forward, Father Lord God, the, the, the news will, will spread abroad. Father Lord God, come and do this for us in Jesus' name. Father Lord, yes. come and do this for us in Jesus' name. Send your help, send your perfection, send your healing power. Oh Lord God, let the efficacy of the bullet that be for us in Jesus' name. We continue to thank you. We continue to praise your name. And this night, oh Lord God, after our evening service, oh Lord, we go to our different rooms to go and sleep but our lord be with us there oh lord yes lord at that time oh lord god we are everything in silence come and perform your your surgery in our body in jesus name in and jesus as many name. as we are prayed to oh lord god we are prayed for oh lord god go and perform your surgery in their lives in jesus name that when the morning shall come we all glorify your name to say thank you jesus thank you for answering our prayers thank we'll you pray in jesus name amen in jesus name thank you brother samuel Thank you, Lord. And so we're believing and calling it done. Amen. And so we've got two more prayers. Um, um, This prayer, we want to pray for the believers. Amen. All of us on the line. um, I'm reminded of the scripture that they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Amen. And so we're praying that the Lord will teach us to wait and teach us to be patient. Amen. In our waiting. Amen. Um, And then um, another scripture, be not weary in well doing. Amen. But if we, we will reap if we faint not. Amen. And so we're at a time where people can become discouraged. We're at a time when people may ask questions are not sure about where we are and where we stand. Um, Many of us have gifts and talents that God has given and bestowed. So we wanna pray that the Lord will stir up the gifts that are lying dormant, even in the body of Christ, 
in Fort Worth, amen, on Mansfield Road, amen, even in our group, um, there's many who have gifts and talents that the Lord can use. And so we're asking God to stir up the gifts that are within the body, amen, and that we as believers won't um, be distracted or won't be discouraged. I'm, thinking, I'm reminded of Pastor Marshall's message on this morning about the car and how you know, it has all these warning signs that comes on. And just like the car has different alerts that reminds us, I got notes, Pastor Marshall, amen. And so it reminds us that, you know, God is, um, that the car is warning us. So it is even in the spirit in who we are as people of God, that, that God is going to um, not allow us to just walk away and turn away. But um, we've got to be mindful of whose we are and we've got to be in tuned and inclined to hear because just like those warning signs in the car, there are warning signs that the Lord allows us um, things to come our path, would come down our path that would, um, that would help us to get back on the right track. But we've got to be keen to the spirit of the Lord, amen? And so as believers, we wanna just trust and believe that the Lord is going to heal and strengthen spiritually, amen, this body of Christ and those who are saved. And so we're going to ask um, our brother Michael Bello if he will pray at this time for the believers um, and the body of Christ at large, amen. Our heavenly father, the king of kings. Yes, Lord. Lord of lords. The Almighty, the Ancient of Hope, the Most Powerful God. Amen. We are here tonight. Yes, Lord. Because you have orchestrated it yes, by Lord. your mercy. Father, we want to say thank you. Thank, thank you, Lord. You have done in our life. Yes. Thank you for all what you are doing. Yes. Lord. Because you know us, mm -hmm. because you created us. Yes, because Lord. you formed us. Father, we are here tonight to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Our Heavenly Father, we are committing all believers into your hand. Yes, Lord. Because we know that it's not an easy road mm -hmm. to travel to heaven. There are lots of vicissitudes of life that is coming upon your children. But we know that. You are our Lord. Yes, and Lord. You, and we call upon you. You will answer. Yes, Amen. Lord. You have never failed. And you have promised that you will never fail. That is why we have that assurance in us. That if God be for us, who can be against us? Wow. Our Father, we are praying for your strength. Because Amen. without you, we can do nothing. <laughs> The songwriter said that it's not an easy road. Yes. Some of us have gone through trials and tribulations, but with your help, we are able to stand today. Some of us are still going through trials and tribulations, but because we know that you are there, we will be an overcomer. Amen. We need you Amen. in our lives. We don't want to look back. We don't want to turn back. We don't want to say, oh, no, I'm tired. I can't do this no more. Because the enemy of our soul does not want us to go to heaven. Mm -hmm. And your son, Jesus Christ, has gone there to prepare a place for us. Mm -hmm. Don't want to miss it, oh, Lord. Oh. No wonder that you are sending different messages to us every Sunday. Mm -hmm. No wonder that your spirit is telling us that we should hold on. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you, 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 Father. Amen. Yes, Amen. We know it's not an easy road. Yes, but Lord. we are promising yes, that we are not going to look back. Mm -hmm. Father, we need you. We yes. want you to come into our midst. Amen. We want you to talk to us. We want to hear that silent voice that I will be with you. That whatever you are going through, I will stand by you. Amen. Some of us have lost their job. Some of us are sick. Some of us are depressed. Some of us have been carrying ailments in their body for years. 
But the Bible says that I am the God of all flesh. Amen. Nothing too hard for him. Okay. Father Lord, the believers that are on this prayer line, they believe that you are the God of all flesh. Yeah, yes, yes. Nothing too hard for him. They are looking unto you, the yes, God yes. of God, the yes. healer, the great healer, the yes. great healer, the yes. master God. The yes, God sir. that can do suddenly. The yes, God sir. that the God that answer prayer suddenly. Yes, Lord. We are crying unto you tonight. We want revival in our soul. We want revival in our life. We want revival in our midst. Father Lord, revivals. Oh, Holy Ghost revivals. God the Father revivals. God the Son revivals. God the Holy Spirit revivals. Father, Lord, we don't want to look back. There is no looking back. There is no looking back. Help your children. Pray for your children. Pray for your yes, children. Yes, all, yes. No matter what, no matter what, there is no looking back for the children of God. Father, Lord, we, we rely on you. Father, yes, Lord, we rely on you. Father, Lord, we rely on you. We you rely on you, God. God by, your, by the palm of your hand. Father, yes. Lord, we want you to hold us by the palm of your hand. Father, Lord, we want you to hold us. We don't want to look back. We want to go to heaven. We want to go to heaven. We yes, want to sir. see you face by face. We want to see you. We want to be partakers of the marriage supper of the Lamb. Father, yes, Lord, Lord, count yes, us Lord. worthy. Father, yes. Lord, count us worthy. Father, Lord, count us worthy. Any impurities in our life that is not going to make us worthy to, to, to walk on this life, to walk on this journey till the end. Father Lord, remove all every impurities in our life. Father Lord, remove every any obstacle that we can't cause that will make us un unworthy to be with you. Father Lord, this night, Father Lord, this night, by the power in the blood of your son, Jesus Christ, remove every imp impurities and any obstacle in our life, Father Lord, come and remove it. Make us worthy. Make us yes. worthy. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. 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 When we thank you, you will answer. When we thank you, you will answer. That's why we are continue. That's why we are thanking you. And we will continue to thank, thank you. Thank you, Lord. And God was with our supernatural power. Thank you for all what you have done for your children. Thank In you, Jesus' Lord. mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And again, it is so. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Um, I said one more prayer, but I'm going to slide two in there only because um, my heart is just yearning for our young people. Amen. Um, and so um, we're going to do a chain prayer for the young people. If Sister Duff, they're your babies. Amen. And so um, as the leader of the young youth department, we're going to ask her and Sister Joyce, um, I think about her sharing with the little ones so often on Sundays, um, fervently and, and faithfully. Um, and so we're going to ask Sister Joyce and um, to pray for our youth, the children. And then after she will have finished, then Sister Unime to pray for our children. And then we'll be up to the last prayer for the revival at large. Amen. So Sister Joyce and then Sister Unime, please. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, first of all, for our children. Lord. Yes, Lord. Our little babies, Lord. Mm. And them, even though they're young, they're very attentive, Jesus. We ask that you guard their hearts, Lord. That you yes, protect God. them, Lord. Amen. That you give them your power, Lord, to love you with all their hearts, Lord. They are children now at that tender age, Lord. But you're saying for them to be trained up in the way they should go, Lord. But when Amen. they're old, they won't depart from it. Amen. We ask that you would protect them, that you yes, would speak to them in a language, Lord, that yeah. they understand. Yeah, that. Yes. that they would grow up with the love of you, Lord, in their heart, Lord. That they will become the leaders and the workers of the future, Lord Jesus. And it starts now, Lord. So we Hallelujah. ask you to help them, Lord. Help them, Lord. 
to protect them from the evil and the evil one, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. We ask and we give you praise for doing it. Thank you. It is so. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Sister Death. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Dear Lord yes. and Heavenly Father, we thank you for this gathering. Yeah. For you, all the young people in the church, even those that we have our family members that are young people, young people around the world, whosoever they are, oh, Heavenly Father, we ask that you, right now, that you touch their hearts, that they touch open them. their minds to receive you, oh, Heavenly Father. Let them know that this is the time, and the time is now. Not to wait, not to delay, but Heavenly Father, that now, Heavenly Father, that they will reach you, that they will speak to you, speak to you, they will come to you, Heavenly Father, that their hearts may be pricking. Oh Jesus, my my heart bleeds for them, oh Lord. My 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 prayer is that God, that one day, Jesus, soon and very soon, that you will touch them, oh God, for them to to reach out to you, oh God. Let them know that it pays to serve Jesus. Let them know that it pays to serve Jesus. It pays to know who Jesus is, that they will receive great blessing, oh Heavenly Father, that our goal is to make heaven, not to stay on this earth, that Jesus, soon and very soon, you are coming, oh Heavenly Father. Jesus, reach them, oh God. Reach them, oh God. Let them see that, Lord, yes, I see that it is sweet to, to, to serve you. It is wonderful to know who you are. Oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus, my prayer, my prayers for, for the young people in our church and all over the world, oh, Jesus, not, not for them to turn back, but for them to move forward, for them to move forward, not turn back, oh, Heavenly Father, may their hearts be revived, oh, Heavenly Father, in a day and age like this, where, where the devil is truly fighting and, and pulling Amen. the young people out of the churches, for them to be on the street for them to look into the media, for them to look at the TV, for them to look at the music videos. Oh God, may they look to the church for answer. May they look to you for answer. May they look to us that we can guide them in the mighty name of Jesus. We are the church. We are the church. We can guide them, Heavenly Father. We can show them the way, oh Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 And it is so. Amen. 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 Still looking, the Lord is going to do great things, amen. For amen. our um, even in this day, and then yeah. lastly, but definitely not least, we want to pray for the revival. And since it was tasked to me to oversee the service on tonight, I'll close us out with um, the prayer of revival. And so, we're wanting to believe that God is going to do all those things that I mentioned earlier. Um, in terms of strengthening us and positioning us and helping us to be in a posture, amen, with our cups and our bowls turned up to receive, amen, that which the Lord is going to do for us. And even as we're preparing and we're studying so that we can share with you different lessons um, and words of encouragement, I'm praying that that too is building us up so that we'll be ready to go the time of the revival but even still those things are refreshing and renewing and replenishing us amen and so heavenly father we come before you now god we thank you heavenly father for the revival that's coming lord jesus we pray heavenly father that you'll strengthen us god we pray heavenly father that you will revive us again god amen. we pray heavenly father that we won't take those words lightly god but we pray heavenly father that you'll fill each heart with your love lord jesus uh, yes, rekindle lord. our souls lord jesus rekindle our spirits god rekindle our minds god amen. in the name of jesus we pray heavenly father that if there are strongholds in our life god we help lord we pray that you'll Help us to identify those strongholds, God, and we'll begin to pull them down, Lord Jesus, so that we will be in right relationship with you, God. We pray, Heavenly Father, that we won't take things for granted, God, but we'll be proud of who we are in you, God. We pray, Heavenly Father, that we won't walk around with a hung down head, Lord Jesus, but because of who we are and whose we are, God, we won't be boastful, God, but we'll stand proudly and firmly for who you are, God. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you'll strengthen us and strengthen our resolve, Lord Jesus, to stand and continue to take a stand for who you are, God. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you'll anoint us, anoint us afresh, God. Renew in our spirits a right mind, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We pray, Amen. Heavenly Father, that your anointing will fall upon us, Lord Jesus. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you'll strengthen our bodies, God, in the name of Jesus. Send revival, God. Help us yes, to remember Lord. all the 
salt of the earth, God. And uh, so we pray, Heavenly Father, that we'll walk, Lord Jesus, and stand in yeah. boldness, Lord Jesus, knowing that we're who you say we are, God. We're the head and not the tail, God. Your word says that we're beloved only and but not beneath, Lord Jesus. Your word says, God, that we'll be lenders and not borrowers, God. And so we pray, Heavenly Father, that you'll put Hallelujah. us in the promise to receive, God, yes, and Lord. to walk and to stand in your promises, God. For your word and your promises are yea and amen. And amen means so let it be, God. And so if it's yes and so let it be, God, we pray, Heavenly Father, that we'll begin to walk and reap those things, Lord Jesus, that we'll begin to rehearse those things in our spirits, Lord Jesus, that we'll begin to move, Lord Jesus. And even as we're moving, God, we'll begin to quote scriptures, God, and we'll, yes, remember, God. we'll begin to remember, Lord Jesus, those memory verses that we have all throughout the weeks, Lord Jesus, and we'll begin to rehearse those, Lord Jesus. And as we rehearse them, Lord Jesus, you're fortifying our strength, yes. God. As Amen. we read the scriptures, Lord Jesus, you're fortifying our strength, God. As we're walking, Lord Jesus, and praying, Lord Jesus, you're strengthening our resolve, God. We know you're able to do exceeding abundantly and above all, God. And so we're trusting in you, God. We're looking to you, God, in the name of Jesus. We believe you, God. Your word says to cast all our cares on you because you care for us, God. And so we know that you care for us, God. We can stand and declare that all is well, Lord Jesus. We have that faith, God. Give us the faith, God. Continue to strengthen us, God. So that we'll be the people that you've called us to be, God. Reign in our lives, Lord Jesus. Move in us, God, in the name of Jesus. Send the revival, God, and let it begin in me, Lord Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Amen. Our prayer, Amen. Lord Jesus. Let it begin in me, Lord Jesus. Amen. Whatever is wrong in my life, Lord Jesus, help me to see Verena for who you have me to be, God. And then help Amen. me to become who you'd have me to be, God. In the name Amen. of Jesus, send the revival, God. But let it begin in me, God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Help us, Lord Jesus, to study, Lord Jesus. And then as we study, Lord Jesus, you'll bring the word to our remembrance at Amen. the right time, God, because your word says that you'll do it, God. Order yeah. our every step, Lord, in the name of Jesus. God, give us a desire to remain salty, God. Give us a desire, Lord Jesus, to seek on those things that would be pleasing in your sight, Lord Amen. Jesus. Help Amen. us, Lord Jesus, to remember to wait on you, God. Help us, Lord Jesus, to remember to wait on you, God. Help us to remember to wait on your Lord Jesus. Amen. Wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, God. Help us to wait, God. Help us to wait, God, in the Help name us. of Jesus. Teach us to wait, God. Strengthen yeah. us even the more in our waiting, God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Help us Lord. to lay out our faces before you, God, and begin to petition you, Lord Jesus, for your will in our lives, God. Amen. Strengthen Amen. us, Lord Jesus. Move in our lives, God. Move in our lives, God, in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Lead us, Lord Jesus, into holiness, God. Lead us, Lord Jesus, and help us to stand for righteousness, God, in the name of Jesus. We bless you, God, and we honor you, Jesus. Your Amen. word, Lord Jesus, declares that we're healed, Lord Jesus. Amen. Your word, Lord, declares that we're victors, God. And so Amen. we pray, Heavenly Father, that you'll help us to walk in healing, God. We pray, Amen. Heavenly Father, that you'll help us to walk in victory, God. Even when we don't see it with our eyes, Lord Jesus, to manifest it in our spirits, God, in the Amen. name of Jesus. And it is so, God. Yes. And it is so, God. Yes. In the name of Jesus, teach Hallelujah. us the way, God. Hallelujah. Teach us the way, God. Hallelujah. Teach us the way, God. Hallelujah. Teach us to lay out before you, God, Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Teach us to look to you, God. Hallelujah. Teach us, Lord Jesus, to have that spirit, Lord Jesus, of love Hallelujah. one to another, God, that will Hallelujah. run from heart to heart and that will run from breast to breast. Hallelujah. God, in the name of Jesus, we pray that you'll cancel the assignment of the enemy, God, that will come Hallelujah. to steal, that will come to kill, and that will come to destroy, God. Because we know, Lord Jesus, that if we trust in you, God, then we'll be victorious, God. In the name of Jesus, we bless you, God. Teach us to wait on you, God. Teach us to wait on you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Teach us to wait on you, God, in the name of Jesus. Let the revival begin in me, God. In the name of Jesus. God, give us a pure heart, God. Amen. Give us a pure zeal, God, in the name of Jesus. God, do it for your glory, do God. It, God. Do it. God, do it for your glory, God. Yeah, God. Sanctify those who aren't sanctified, God. Save Amen. the children and those who are not Amen. saved, Lord Jesus. Amen. Help us, Lord Jesus, that as we're living oh, and moving, God, that we'll interact with people, Lord Jesus, who desire just a little bit of whatever that is you have, God. In the name of Jesus, help us, Lord Jesus, to be where you desire for us to be, God. In the name of Jesus, teach us to wait on you, God. Teach us to not be in a hurry, God. Teach us to settle down, Lord Jesus. Teach us to calm, Lord Jesus. 
teach us to look to you, God, in the name of Jesus. There's glory in the way, God. There's victory in the way, God. There's deliverance in the way, God. There's healing in the way, God. Teach us to worship you, God. Jesus. God, we bless you all tonight, God. Yes. Move with these, your people, in God. Send us the gifts of these, your people, God, Thank in the name Jesus. of Jesus. Help us, Lord Jesus, to be the light, Lord Jesus, that's in the light of God, that can be here, God. In the name of Jesus, we bless you, God. Jesus. God, we bless you, God. Teach us to wait, God. Amen. Teach us to wait, God, in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Teach us to wait, God. Teach us to settle, God. Oh, Jesus, Amen. God, we bless you. God, we honor you, God. God, we trust you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We glorify you, God. We honor you, Jesus. Come to your glory, God. God, God, show yourself strong, God, in the name of Jesus. God, Jesus, 